the sun. But the humans are enjoying it. So now, I won't lower my brightness. I'll cover your rays with my clouds. Oh, no, you won't. Yes, I will. Don't you dare. How else am I to cool down? Fine. Fine. I was just trying to give the humans a nice sunny day. But no, you had to rain on my parade. Well, little Miss Sunshine, if you hadn't been burning so bright, we wouldn't have this problem, now would we? I can be vicious if I want to. I could turn your forest into ash right now. Then what would you do? Sit there, burn yourself out? That's right. You'd have no one to talk to, or rather, fight with them, would you? Are you saying that I live for you? You are so wrong. Well, it's not like you have anything better to do. All you do is fight with me. I get one season, one season to get to my full potential. As if that's any fair. Thank God your 12 hours of day are almost up. I don't think I can stand one more minute of your incessant screaming. But the sun will oh, go Oh, please out. stop. Please Tomorrow. stop. Tomorrow. Fine. Unlike you, the humans adore my sunny rays. Until they wake up the next morning looking like a lobster. You think people enjoy the dark? People are afraid of it. How stupid can you be? Excuse me? How come you get all the humans yet you don't realize their fears and discomfort? You don't either. You burn them. Especially during the summer months. At least I know they enjoy a little of me. Oh, you give them is rain and snow. It's necessary. For who? You. That's who. How about you stop thinking about yourself for once and start thinking about the humans? How rude. Little Miss Sunshine, ugh. I'll be little until I dry your seas, squirt your forests, and leave you there like the shriveled up dirt ball you are. Earth thinks he's all that. His forests and his streams. But would he have all of that without me? No. He revolves around me. Without me, would his plants grow? No. He needs me more than I need him. How can he be so terribly rude when he knows he would be dark and cold without my beautiful sunny presence? How come someone so atrocious gets all the humans? I mean, we all know who they like better. They litter and pollute his air for a reason. Earth deserves a lesson and I encourage the humans to give it to him. And again, he is right. What would I do if he was gone? No, what am I saying? Earth has been nothing but rude to me since the day we were created. Since when am I one to need anyone? Such nonsense. I mean, I can't blame him for being jealous. I know I was always the bright one. I won't be deterred by another snobby comment by Earth. He means nothing. Not to me and not to the humans. He means absolutely nothing. He means absolutely nothing. He means absolutely nothing. Why? I asked her to do me one small thing, and she has to get all fired up about it. I just don't understand. I never did anything to her. All I did was ask her to lower her brightness, and she, like the drama queen she is, had to blow it all out of proportion. Like, so annoying. Why can't she just do me a favor for once? How hard would that even be? She's the most stubborn, egotistical fireball I've ever met. She thinks she can do whatever she wants just because she's older or because the humans like her more. Uh, I just don't understand. Why do the humans love sun so much when I give them everything they need? I give them water from my rivers to drink. I give them plants and animals to eat. I give them wood to build their homes and they still choose to litter and pollute me. Why? Just because, one might say. I don't see just because being a good reason to treat me like that, though. Those humans would not be if it weren't for my rivers, my food, my wood. They would not exist. Why do they love sun more than me? She gives them warmth and light, but I give them the air they need to breathe. They treat me horribly, and they know they would not be here if it weren't for me. I don't understand. I just don't understand. What if the humans do like her better? I mean, she is right. The only weather I give them is rain and snow. But I do listen. I know they hate the rain. I know they hate the dark. Maybe they do hate me. No matter what they think, they need me. I need to take care of them. It's my job. Why else would I be here? Morning. 
Oh, so now you're giving me the silent treatment? I figure if I don't say anything, you won't have anything to judge me on. <laughs> you already said something, but honestly, do you think I like fighting with you? Um, yes. Okay. Let me try to explain this to you from my perspective. You're just, oh, what's the word? An obstacle, a problem. All you do is get in everyone's way. I'm surprised the humans care about you at all. You know what? The humans only love you for what you give them, not for who you are. If they ever found out who you were and what you said, they would probably hate you just as much as I do. But here's the thing. They will never know me. They will adore my beauty and warmth while you will be ignored. The humans will never love you as much as they love me. Yes, you are beautiful from their perspective. But know this, it doesn't matter how beautiful you are, because your true self will come out soon enough. Just because the humans can't see it, it doesn't mean the other planets can't. You think I care about those other planets? Um, well obviously, you care enough to fight with me. Because you're the only one that's annoying! Well, you're the only one that's inconsiderate and rude! Oh, I'm the inconsiderate and rude one! Yes, you are! You don't care about anyone but yourself! Really? I didn't know you held the secrets of the universe! I would have thought that I'd do more for the humans than you ever did. Don't bring them into this, son. We both know it's not about them. But it is. Half of the reason you annoy me so much is because I know the humans deserve better than you. Then who do you suggest take care of them? You? <laughs> they wouldn't last a second on you. Let alone near you without you incinerating them. Yes, I know that. And if I could switch places with you, I would. I hate you because I'm... I... You are able to take care of the humans. And I, mean, I never can. I never will. Son, I... No. Just don't. Don't pity me, Earth. He never did before. So don't now. Okay, but I... Just leave me alone, okay? I think it's better for the both of us if we just stop talking. Son, I don't. Just stop already! Stop trying to be a good planet. I've told you everything. What else do you want from me? I don't want anything. I just... I just... Just what, Earth? Just want to know why I'm feeling like this now? I've always felt like this. I've always been jealous. I've always felt like I couldn't do much for the humans. But I never ever needed anyone. Son, everyone needs somebody. The humans, they need you. I need you. You may not want to admit it, but you need the humans too. Now, you may not need me, but who else would you fight with? That's true. Look, I've said some pretty horrible things to you, but I'll be here if you need me. I'm sorry about what I said. I'm sorry, too. Truce, then? Truce. Ah. <laughs> okay, now that we made up, can we at least get the temperature to 150 tomorrow? Oh my god, here we go again.